to the protests that have disrupted festivities around Chicago this week, a group of uncommitted delegates staging a sit-in outside of the United Center, demanding a Palestinian speaker be allowed to address the crowd from the convention's main stage. Minnesota Congresswoman Ilhan Omar eventually joining their protest. News Nation's Nick Smith is outside of the United Center. Good morning, Nick. These protesters said they'd be back out today. They said they were going to be out all night. Are they still planning on doing that? They are, Hannah, because they want to have their voices heard, particularly after yesterday. It all started after family members of Israeli hostages taken by Hamas spoke at yesterday's program demanding that there be an end to the war in Gaza. We know the one thing that can most immediately release pressure and bring calm to the entire region, a deal that brings this diverse group of 109 hostages home and ends the suffering of the innocent civilians in Gaza. And that's the challenge because no Palestinian Americans have been given the same opportunity, leading some, including Democratic lawmakers, to accuse party leaders of stifling Palestinian voices. Let it be laid bare for the American public to know that the Democratic Party, unfortunately, as of this moment, I hope I get a call telling me something different, but as of this moment, is choosing to suppress the voices of Palestinian Americans. And Palestinian protesters want a seat at the table. They want their voices to be heard. And it led to this scene outside the DNC, a small group of uncommitted delegates sitting in front of the convention hall demanding their voices be heard. But whether that message landed with other delegates remains to be seen. People leaving the convention on Wednesday appeared to ignore the demonstrators as they left the United Center. Compare that to the rowdier but still largely peaceful protest that took place hours earlier. More than a thousand pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched through the city streets, stopping about a block away from the United Center. Now this scene, nowhere near as chaotic as on Tuesday, when dozens of people were arrested following violent clashes between Chicago police and pro-Palestinian demonstrators outside of Chicago's Israeli consulate. Another large march is set for later today from Chicago's Union Park. That's about a block away from where I am right now, that is expected, Henna, to be the largest group to protest the DNC. Uh, and tonight will be their last opportunity to do so. Henna?